SADC running late, Zanu PF looks set to implode hello everyone, and welcome back to Rex Divida. Political crisis in Zimbabwe, triggered by the flawed electoral process, has put the spotlight on the Southern African Development Community SADC as they struggle to address the situation. SADC's slow response has raised concerns, particularly since their own CM report acknowledged that the Zimbabwe elections did not meet the revised SADC guidelines and principles of a democratic election in 2021, complicating matters. Further, the ruling ZANU-PF party, led by President Emerson Menengwa, is facing internal turmoil as supporters express their discontent over his bid for a third term. SADC's ineffective response SADC's lack of urgency in resolving the political crisis in Zimbabwe is evident, as they appear to be moving at a snail's pace, despite acknowledging the electoral processes. Shortcomings SADC has yet to take decisive action. This delay in intervention has led to growing frustration among Zimbabweans, who were hoping for swift and decisive action to address the concerns raised regarding the legitimacy of the election. ZANU PF's internal turmoil, President Emerson. Manangwa's quest for a third term as President of Zimbabwe has created internal divisions within the ZANU PF party. Disgruntled supporters are expressing their dissatisfaction, which threatens to cause the party to implode. The discontent stems from concerns over the democratic principles and the potential consolidation of power within the party's leadership. Implications the delayed response from SADC and the internal rift within ZANU-PF carry significant implications for Zimbabwe's political landscape. The lack of decisive action from SADC undermines the organization's credibility as a regional body responsible for upholding democratic norms. This inaction prolongs the political crisis, exacerbating social unrest and economic instability in the country. Furthermore, ZANU-PF's infighting may further weaken the party's standing and its ability to govern. Effectively, internal divisions can lead to a loss of public confidence and support, ultimately threatening the stability of the ruling party. The convergence of these factors adds to the overall political uncertainty in Zimbabwe. Conclusion The political crisis in Zimbabwe requires urgent attention and decisive action from both SADC and the ruling ZANU-PF party. SADC must demonstrate its commitment to upholding democratic values by promptly addressing the flaws in the electoral process. In parallel, ZANU-PF should prioritize internal unity and focus on addressing the concerns of its supporters. Failure to address these issues could lead to further instability and hinder socio-economic development in Zimbabwe.